Hello, today we're going to discuss the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium equation and how selection violates it. So what we have here are a population of diploid organisms that reproduce through mating. The AA group, which is just made up per yearly pen. The AB group, which is a um, watercolor pencil partially dried. And the BB group, which is concentrated watercolor. So, under normal conditions, these guys will be follow the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium principle here. The frequency of the big A allele will be the AA population times 2 because there are two big A's, plus the six A's from the heterozygous, these guys, divided by the total alleles, 0.46 frequency. Same thing for B here. 0.54 and here we have the initial frequencies taken by the total amount of big A big A divided by the total population 0.23 the population of big A big B 6 divided by 13 0.46 and then here 4 divided by 13 0.31 and it'll follow the equation where p squared plus 2pq plus 2q squared will equal 1, nice and even. But if there, the environment were to change, for example, a sort of big flood here, and ooh, these guys had it bad. Now as you can see, the AA population, a little smudged, but mostly unaffected. These guys smudged pretty bad, and these guys almost unrecognizable. So. After selection, we have here um, a fitness value, 1.1, 1 0.7, and 0. Multiplying the initial frequency by the fitness value will give us the unadjusted survivors, 0.23, since mostly nothing happened to the big A, big A population, 0.322 for uh, the heterozygous population, and... The watercolor population, big B, big B, got wiped out, so too bad. And the sum of these will be the weighted uh, fitness average, 0.552. And dividing the unadjusted survivors by 0.552 will give us the frequency after selection, 0 0.42, And the frequency, the new frequencies will be 0 0.71 for big A, big A, 0.29 for big, for big B. Just big A, big B. Now as you can see, the fitness values lean towards the A population, so it's directional towards big A. Thank you.